hope you're all well. It is our second full day, isn't it? Yep. Um, it's Tuesday this morning, and we had a lovely evening last night, didn't we? At um, Enzo's Hideaway. Yes, didn't even hideaway. know that was there. Yeah, no idea it was there, and uh, we had a full chance to explore a bit of that, and then we went to the Edison bar afterwards, didn't we? Yes. A bit like Peaky Blinders in there. Yeah, it was a bit like yeah. Peaky Blinders, yeah. yeah. I was missing a flat cap. So today we don't have a park on the schedule for Disney. And we are checking out of Old Key West uh, this morning. The bags have just gone. So what we will do before we leave is we'll give you a little sweep of the room. And show you a room tour. Oh, I wonder what you're doing then. It's the glasses oh. just, they keep falling forward on my face. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> You'd think with a face like that that everything would stick, wouldn't you? Um, <sighs> So, oh, good you, morning, good morning. Um, we're also checking into Kidani Village um, later on this afternoon, so we've done a check-in online, and our bags are just going to be taken straight there for us. So when we arrive, we just need to call Bell Services. So what you've done this morning? What have I done this morning? We've just had a mad panic, looking for the cash and looking for the park tickets and all that stuff, and they were hidden in Paul's suitcase, so we had to open all the suitcases. Bell services were here, it was stressful. I'm sweating. Anyway, but we're really excited. <laughs> didn't have it, did you? Oh, I could have no. sworn he'd, he'd kept yeah. hold of it when we when we checked in. But anyway, today's a good day. It is we're a good day. We're going to breakfast somewhere. Yeah. The sun shining. Yeah, we're going to get something nice because we've had no breakfast yet. Um, and we're also going to go and pick our Universal tickets up today, aren't we? Mm, yes. So we will see if we're going to maybe have a little hour in the park. What are you doing on my leg there with that? Nothing. I'm flipping you know, he's flapping hand. this bloody towel around with... It's soaking wet. It's not soaking wet. It's, it's just It's like damp. being next to a permanent sprinkler. It's just moist. Oh. Uh, well, um, so yeah, we are going to just go and do those little bits and bobs today. And then we will show you a little bit around Kidani later on. Then maybe this evening we'll see what we want to do for dinner. I mean, are we going to have a light lunch? Who knows? There's no plans for today. There's no plans. So just join us. This is a bit sporadic. It's a bit spontaneous. And we will take you along with us. So we just thought we'd give you a little room tour. So what type of room Welcome is this? Welcome to a deluxe studio um, at Old Key West. This is a deluxe studio. Two queen beds. <laughs> well, how fitting. Uh, two queen beds. There's plenty of sockets. Yeah, there is. Why are you talking like that? There's plenty of sockets uh, everywhere. I'm inviting like you. Lloyd Grossman, um, who lives in a villa like this. <laughs> so there's, yeah, there's plenty of US sockets around. Yeah. But they've also had... Um, USBs put in here. Although, did we have a bit of a challenge getting two plugs in there? Yeah, only because the the adapters, the Apple chargers, when they when you plug them in there, the the wires that come out the bottom both face into the middle, so you can't actually plug two things yeah. in there. But if you've got USB, not USB C, but USB, then you can plug them in there. Yeah. So that's quite handy. The beds are super comfy. Yeah, they're a bit. They feel like the Disney ship beds, don't they? They're, um, they're very, very comfy. We've only slept on one, though. We've only slept on this one. Um, Big fan on the ceiling yeah, as well. Yeah, quite nice, actually, because when the air conditioning hasn't kicked in, um, this at least just keeps the air circulating, yeah. and that's quite nice. Mm. A little seating area for if yeah. you want to eat. We are in an adjoining room. I think we did mention that as well, so we've been... Um, and then here we've got a chest of drawers mm -hmm. and a DVD player. Oh, <laughs> uh, <and you> <laughs> heavy... DVDs from down at the hospitality centre. Yeah. Quite a small television, actually. Yeah, I mean, if you put room. it into perspective, it's um, not like huge. But if you're not going to spend much time in the room anyway, then it doesn't really matter what no. the TV is. But no. yeah, nice, um, nice little television here. We have got a terrace out there as well, just so you can see. With two chairs and a little yeah. table. The only challenge we have as well with this room is that you that is next door. So if you're sitting out here and their blinds are open, there's very limited yeah, privacy in there. Little bit of noise out there, then it could disturb. <laughs> oh, it's make noise, surely not. Every time you breathe. I, we, the other thing we must point out as well these are super annoying, aren't they? These blinds because they take forever and ever to pull down and they are so noisy. It look at it, just takes ages and ages for it to do it like. We're complaining, we're just in a room too. No, I'm just saying, though, I'm just saying. Nobody's in a right mode of has, Well, it's because you've got me all flustered with that folder. <laughs> And then here we have a coffee machine. A kitchenette, are we calling yeah, this? A little, a little kitchenette with a microwave. 
ice bucket, some paper plates, plates and some plastic cutlery. cutlery and stuff. I wish they would provide real stuff because that's single use plastic. Yeah, again, it is. Know, that's a bit. Not oh, are you moaning, Thomas? You better no, not be not, moaning. I'm just not <laughs> Uh, a toaster and your coffee bags and milk and Yeah, we've had a coffee this there. morning as well. There's a full size fridge. Marvellous. There. Okay. And then underneath the sink they provide you with kitchen roll, um, washing up liquid, a little bin, more tea towels. So you can do your own scrubbing. And scourers and stuff, so that's that's quite yeah. handy. And then do, 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 closet. Uh, quite a lot of space actually in the closet. Oh, I've never been in one of those, Tom, have you? No. Um, <laughs> Closet with loads of hangers, a safe on the wall. Yeah, it's the old style safe with a key. With a little key. Um, and with a key in a DVC place, they also provide because cleaning is only every fourth day, yeah. day four and day eight. So they provide um, a Hoover and a sweeper and a, and a steamer for the yeah. hard floors, just so that you can keep your own little home from home nice and clean and tidy. In here we've got vanity unit with the um, H2O products still. Do you not want to take that body lotion, Thomas? No. no. Um, and a little cupboard with your hair dryer and stuff. Hair dryer and little hand towels and stuff. No um, the shower was lovely. It was lovely and powerful. A little bath, shower, nice big shower head, and it was powerful plus your H2O. So actually, you don't have to bring any of your toiletries with you and take up that case no. space because the H2O toiletries really are. Quite nice. Yeah, and we have had quite. We've had four big four towels nice. there as well. And then you've got your full-length mirror. Yeah. Here. Oh, what a gorgeous view! <laughs> um, but these are apparently the more spacious rooms um, on DVC property, and you can see there's plenty of room. There's yeah. tons of room. Four people would live quite yeah quite happily in here. And underneath the beds. They're raised quite high, so all cases can go underneath the bed, out your way, and it, it it's it's comfortable actually. It's yeah. Really comfortable. Yeah. Really enjoyed. I could I could see us staying here. Oh, I'm just gonna move you away from them lights. Yeah. Um, we could stay here quite comfortably for a week or two. Yeah. And we're back here at the end of this we are, trip yes. as well, so we've got four nights back here, which is mm -hmm. nice. So kind of now we know what to expect. It just um, you know. and we're we're staying in the same. We're staying in a deluxe. Yeah, yeah, we're staying in a deluxe studio where we come back for the four nights. However, not near the hospitality. Yeah, it's the, going to be a bit further away. The only thing we've got here to our massive advantages, we can literally just walk across to where breakfast yeah. and everything is. Um, so we'll just wait and see when we come back to the end where they, they put us. Yeah. But if I flutter my eyelashes, you never know, Thomas. You never know. You normally get what you want. And uh, just so you know, Tom couldn't find anything at the outlets nope. to buy yesterday. He, he couldn't find a darn thing. He's probably going home with about 12 pairs of shoes. So, so yeah, that's where we've been for the last two nights. We're just in the general store. We're just having a little look around. See what there is. There's some DVC stuff. Oh, oh that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> These are lovely colours. I like all these things. That's nice, isn't it? Mm. And pictures and things. Look at that for a mug. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is massive. <laughs> Give me a vacation for a mm. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely colour. I want to get some bits from every resort this time. Obviously, we're coming back here. But the plan is to get, um, oh yeah. Yeah, you did a good job. Pride stuff. Oh, gummies. <laughs> gummy, gummy. Oh. <laughs> That's the face Tom makes along many an occasion, isn't it? <laughs> And get you up things here if you need them. There's frozen stuff, premium bars. Oh, that's nice. I love that case. Did it? Oh, <laughs> Asti. Oh, I could have had a little glass of Asti, Tom. Twenty-two dollars. That's. I mean, I know it's only like seven pound at home, but <laughs> there you go, folks. Welcome to our channel. It's really nice. This is where the boat brought us in last night as well. And then we've been staying in that block over there. 
<laughs> and then the gurgling suitcase is the bar on site, libations and spirits. There's also a little arcade in there as well. Play a few slots. Now folks, what you're witnessing here is a rare event. Tom is getting into the driving seat of this car and he might drive around the resort. Is that right? Mm. Did you put something extra in your coffee this morning? Yep. Got me a little oxygen water time. Oh, it's God. Cold. So the next shot you see will have be Tom driving, not me. Look, everybody, Luke. Oh, it's a miracle. Sure it's a miracle. I mean, he is only driving around the resort. You know this, don't you? It's not like he's hitting the major highways. Well, it all depends whether I feel comfortable or not. Oh, God. Five minutes and he'll think he's Steve McQueen. What was that film? Was it Bullet? I think it was. Oh, I don't know. Oh. So, yeah. This could be the last you see of us, everybody. If he puts his foot down too much, I could end up in the lake. Enjoying being a passenger. What's that? Am I enjoying being a passenger? No, I would be if you weren't driving. <laughs> oh. I'm very proud of you, Thomas. I mean, all you've got to do is just watch the road. When we came in on the boat last night, we came in all down this um, access way here. And we couldn't believe how big these resorts are. This and Saratoga are ginormous. It takes a long time to get around the resort if you're not on yeah. in a vehicle. Yeah. But this waterway here is where the boat comes on. Where the boat comes in. So you really are screwed if you're right down the back here. I'm just panicking that that's where they're going to put us when we come at the end of the trip. <coughs> so, but there's bus stops and things featured, isn't there, quite all the way throughout. But there's a pool in there that's tucked off. Shack or yeah, just to kind of give you a little bit of an Churchill, idea. Churchill yeah, just the scale. Oh, is this it? Is this the end of this run, or can you go round to the right? Oh, Nick. Yeah, this is the end. It's the end, everybody. You can hire bikes to go around the resort. You can hire golf trolleys because of the golf course mixed in around here as well. Yeah, we've seen them out this morning playing golf. Haven't we? Yeah. We're going to go to Denny's for breakfast, aren't we? Yeah. We enjoyed it last time we went. Apart from the bit of plastic that I got. Oh, yeah, me. they nearly killed him last time, <laughs> if you remember. If you haven't seen our February vlog, check that out. I'm hoping I don't get a, a bit of spatula in this one. No. But it is tasty. Yeah, really nice. So we're going to do that. They do something called an American Slam, which sounds delightful. <laughs> breakfast doesn't sound too bad either. Can I get you guys some dinner drink? Um, oh, coffee, coffee, please. please. Coffee. Yeah, thank you. Um, look at that, the triple bean sampler. Oh yeah. Two strips of thick cut cornwall black label premium cherry wood smoked bacon. Two strips of the traditional. Served with eggs, hash browns and white toast. To show the lovely folk. Bacon Ali. This is what I live for everybody. This is all I eat. I've built my own slam, which is, I've had bacon, sausage, Scrambled egg hash browns, extra bacon. And what have you had? I've had the Grand Slam Witch. The Grand Slam Witch. Yeah. Which is bacon, ham, scrambled egg, cheese on a toast. I don't, I don't know. So basically everything on a piece of bread. <laughs> oh, and some, and some chocolate chip cookies. It, chocolate chip pancakes. Just a light breakfast, is it, for you? No lunch today. Oh, Thomas, get that in your gob. <laughs> you're well. No, you're bloody well. Did you say your pancakes are coming afterwards? Yeah. Okay. So this coming is... coming now. All right. This is a slam witch. And then we've got a little coffee. And then here's my bacon. That, that is extra bacon on there with little wieners. <laughs> and then my hash browns. Oh, look at that. We're bloody stuffed, aren't we? Yeah, nice one, it that. Mm. Um, it's come to... Uh, 31.47, you've declined, you've told him, well, she didn't bring the pancakes, did she, but he's quite glad, really. So, yeah, 31.47 um, for two coffees, a Grand Slam, which, and build your own slam. 
and then I had extra bacon at 129. So yeah, uh, I mean it's a decent. You can't. I don't think you can go wrong with this. There's plenty of choice here. Just you know, cheap and cheerful, and we just didn't want anything too fancy this morning. Did fancy, fancy. What are you? Beans. Beans. <laughs> he wishes. Um, little shout out to Amanda on our Facebook group, Amanda Turner, because she gave us the heads up about the Eaton Play card. Mm -hmm. Now, we got this as part of our attraction, Orlando, Orlando attraction, attraction tickets, tickets booking. booking. Um, it was one of the free options that you could get a free card. Yeah. yeah. So that has just saved us 20% at Denny's. So yeah, just double check when you are getting your tickets just see if that's an option but we just want to say a huge thank you to Amanda because she literally has just reminded us of that as well so she's just saved us a few quid marvellous so are we going to Universal now so, yeah. yeah we're going to go and pick our Universal tickets up now maybe have a little wander around that park so come with us he's still driving oh god he's definitely uh, got the hang of it but that was nice that breakfast wasn't it yeah it was it yeah was that a uh, slam witch yeah it was so tasty, yeah, really nice. Really I'm nice. glad they forgot the pancakes because I am stuffed. Yeah, it's um, it's too much sometimes, isn't it? But yeah, we uh, we quite enjoyed the American Slam. Very nice. We've just checked the wait times for Universal and Minions Villain Con Thingy Blast <laughs> is showing a 45 minute wait, so it must be active and live, mustn't it? Just whipped me with his towel. <laughs> I know people who pay good money for that. We're just on the approach to Universal, aren't we? Well, if you know people who pay good money for it, direct them my way. <laughs> fat Tuesdays. I love a fat Tuesday. Well, Tuesday, it, it actually is Tuesday. Well, if, yeah, you can drive back. Uh, no, I don't Tuesday. think that's going to happen to you. Yeah. Um, if you've not had a Fat Tuesdays yet, this is a little shout out to Robin and Luke who introduced us to this. Um, on our February trip and uh, they then blamed us for making them late for going to Discovery yeah. Cove so there we you go Discovery Cove tomorrow, so we can't yeah so we're not doing Fat Tuesdays we can't be seen to be doing that so <laughs> just a word of warning they're very strong oh the clouds are rolling in early today aren't they yeah. the inclement weather is uh, imminent I think and as soon as there's right, lightning time. in the vicinity of a certain mileage yeah Outdoor rides, or they shut everything down, don't they? But anyway, it's a bit annoying if you paid $30 because that's what the parking is $30 at Universal. Yeah, if you paid $30, but then you can't really do much. Yeah, and then it boosts the wait times up, doesn't it? For oh, yeah, all the indoor attractions. Uh, Transformers is posted in 110 minutes. I don't know whether we've already said that. And what? Hagrid's is 80. Yeah, Hagrid's is 80 at the minute, but if, if this kicks in which it no doubt will do then. We ain't going to be riding that today. Pardon? Oh, well, is that the guest services there with the massive big queue we got waiting? Oh, Lordy. We should have just come in for a quick cool down. Hats for career girls. <laughs> And this is our first look at the new Minions land, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, when I say land, <laughs> it's a street. Yeah. Now, we're hoping that we can get into this little attraction. Let's see. Oh, I can smell all that lovely fruity mm. fragrance at the minute. Feeling calm. Do you know what, Tom? Yeah, they probably got so much money coming into this park at the minute. In fact, you could say that they're making minions out of it. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Oh, we're going to do we're going to do minion blast, everybody. So we're going to do the new minions thing. Um, there is technical rehearsals going on though, so it might be glitchy. It might not be fully operational and we can't film on it so we'll give you our opinion when we come out we might be able to show you some footage from the queue though
<laughs> oh, they've got a number plate for my car there. Infamy. 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 They've, all got, they've all got it in for me. <laughs> I, was, I thought that was good. I thought it was good. Like. These shooting games, they really do kill my arms. So. <laughs> oh, they kill me arms. I'm just have to make a small deposit. He's just doing the feedback survey for the Minions ride. It was good, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was good, I liked it. The, um, the screen's really clear. The only thing I think is there's like a bit of a lag where your aim is meant to be. Oh, well, mine was okay. Oh, sit <laughs> Yeah, mine, wow. mine was quite responsive. <laughs> um, so that was the only thing I couldn't quite see where it was, but the music's really good. I think the walking, walking moveway, no, the moving walkway goes at a decent pace. I mean, you have to be careful if you're in a backpack because you could take out the person behind you with one quick swing around. Um, but it was good. It was it was decent enough, and I think it's far more fun than the Shrek thing that was there oh, before. Yeah. So yeah, if you get a chance to do it when you're out here, um, let us know what you think. Just done the mummy, aren't we? Yeah, it's very good. It's uh, quite smooth now, oh, and it posted man. a 35 minute wait, and we were on in 18 minutes. Yeah, so I have no issues with the mummy at all. Daddy, however, has another story. <laughs> <Daddy issues. laughs> These clouds are behaving at the moment. What time is it? Is it about half two? Oh, there you go. See, I'm psychic as well as fabulous. <laughs> um, so that's good because we were worried that when we were queuing up to come in that we were going to get a downpour. So at the moment, they are being pretty good. I've just said to Tom, the only thing I haven't had from around this part of the park is a baked potato. <laughs> oh, I could just eat a bit of a baked potato. Uh, we're not going to do Diagon Alley today and all the Harry Potter stuff because we've got so much time that oh, just rub it in. we've got so, so much, much time. time we have we're not going to rush because last time we were here we only had a week so we're just going to do that on another day um, mm -hmm. but we are going to see how long Men in Black is because of course after my incredible victory on um, Buzz Lightyear Tom well, thinks tell them how, what, the, what the victory was on Minion Blast. Oh, he said he got 500 and something, no, I but I think... I 760,000. <laughs> don't tell lies. I'm sure his gun was malfunctioning. That's a regular occurrence anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Um, but with that, it. <laughs> with that, we're going to go up to Men in Black. Once again, you find me stood here outside the restrooms waiting for this one. I'm just telling everybody what? I'm going to write a book. I can document every single restroom in every park in Florida because you've probably been to most of them, or if not all. I don't think at so. At some really. point, every two minutes. Oh, you're the master of hyperbole. Oh, you are. can't you just? And if you don't know what that means, look it up. Can't you just clench a bit longer? What was the score on the board, Mister? One hundred and seventy-four thousand to me. One hundred and fifty. No, one hundred. One hundred and seventy-nine thousand to me. One hundred and fifty-four yeah. to you. Well done. Well done. I mean, I've got to let him win something, haven't I? Because otherwise he just gets, gets a bit upset, don't you? 
That's how my eyes were after we'd had those fat Tuesdays, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going up to ET. We don't know what the time is on this, but um, you can start to see the construction of the new DreamWorks area that they're putting in. I think this is going to be Shrek, Kung Fu Panda. Tro Who are you calling a troll? Yeah. I've been nice to you. I haven't left any rude comments online. <laughs> but there's always a first time, Thomas. Yeah, well. And remember, ET's counting on you, and so am I. Oh. It's up to you to save this planet so that he may visit us again. Oh, it smells lovely, dear. They've made new passports as well, I think. Yeah. And they changed the smell. They have, it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells like our downstairs loo, Tom. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't smell like you smell. No. They're definitely pumping new smells out in oh, there yeah. aren't they it smells completely different the the forest smells amazing when you're going through it on the bikes it smells completely different it's like um like a christmas like an alpine spruce type smell isn't it and then you get whiffs of what bun and paper smells like i'm sure that's not just i don't know you. what that is <laughs> I don't know. um we are gonna head over now to kidani yes it's about 20 to 4 Animal Kingdom Lodge, yep. we're going to go and check in and... So we're going to show you um, the first kind of few bits and bobs of that and then obviously we're there for four nights so we'll show you a bit over a few different vlogs so that you see, you know, things on different days rather than just doing it all in yeah. one day. Oh my god, look at this. I mean, that is brilliant, isn't it? Let go. So good. Spared no expense. that bag oh, that's nice. Lovely. how much is that $80 uh, <laughs> $80 Ooh. oh they've got Jurassic treats as well look oh yeah oh oh I'm just put on about three stone looking at that I thought there was, I'd seen, um, a what do you call it, a dinosaur mask. Oh, folks, the sign isn't spinning. That's not right, is it? The world's not turning. The world has stopped revolving, Tom. Around you. <laughs> That's it. What do you mean around me? <laughs> That's it. It's all over. <laughs> it's the Bob Four. Keep left towards Blizzard Beachwater Park and Disney's Animal Kingdom. Never been down this road before. Have we? But well, there's the entrance to the animal kingdom. Oh, yeah. Looks like Jurassic Park, doesn't it? And Pepper Broadway, we're thinking of you right now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, the gift shop. <laughs> yeah, lovely, isn't it? Oh, Luke. 
Oh my goodness me. Wow. Well, the most important room we found at the moment is the laundry room. <laughs> oh, and I think, is it free? Yeah, 30 if minutes you... wash cycle, 30 minutes drying cycle. All right, okay. This laundry is reserved for the exclusive use of Disney Vacation Club guests. All right, okay. So there's dryers and washers. So that's quite handy to know. We might do a little laundry fix. Oh dear, someone's had a spillage. Oh gosh. Oh, that's not good, is it, folks? <laughs> we'll get some washing stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Five. Yeah. Seven, five. Three, one. Three, one. <laughs> Timon. We haven't got a Savannah view, have we? You could just have to look at me and say, Tom, in, in, in awe. <laughs> Beast. Beast. <laughs> look at the lovely detail. 7529 7531. Welcome to 7531 at Kidani House. And what, oh, it smells lovely. Mm -hmm. um, what type of room is this, Thomas? It's a deluxe. Studio. Oh, this is very nice, isn't it? Lovely. Very charming and full of character. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. Oh, we're here at Kidani Village. We are, yes, indeed. And we might not have a savannah view, but we do still have quite tropical views of swamplands. Yes. Oh, it's fine. It's lovely. It's, it's lovely. really, really nice. Um, we will do... Oh, well, my finger's in the way again. We will do a room tour on another day because we are here for four nights, aren't we? Yeah. So we'll do that on another vlog because it might be on a quieter day. You know, it, it gives you a chance to see it a bit more. We are going to go and have a little walk over to Jambo House now, aren't we? Well, we're going to go and explore yeah. this resort and then yeah. maybe take a little walk over to Jambo. Have a look at the quick service place, maybe have a bite to eat. Yeah, we're going to stay here tonight. Um, we're not going to venture out anywhere because we've got Discovery Cove early tomorrow morning. No, I'm not. I mean, around the resort. All right, okay. Yeah, was it, you don't want to traipse the way out again, do you? I don't know. Oh, he's so indecisive. So, yeah, we'll have a little look around. We'll take the camera. We'll have a little bit of an explore and show you some of the sights of Kidani. Oh, we're just exploring. I think this is the restaurant down here. Oh, I can see a Halloween tote bag. Yeah, this is Salah. Oh, so it smells lovely. Mm. Oh, butter chicken. That's lunch, dinner, samosas. Yeah, it just takes you to the other, other rooms. Separate. So we're just doing a bit of exploring and we have been allowed to have a little look at one of the three bedroom villas that's on the resort. It is massive. So <laughs> we'll do our room tour another day, but we wish this was our room tour. But this is just to give you a little idea of some of the stuff that can be booked on these properties. And this is just crazy because it's like a small house. So I'll flip you around and show you very quickly just a little bit of um, the... It's, all I can say is it's like a, an apartment, it's massive.
we're just walking along to Jambo House. We're going to have a little look around there. I've heard they've got a nice shop. <laughs> yeah, ten times the size of the shop at Kadani. So yeah, that's... We're going to go and see what they've got. And we're going to go and get some food there, yeah, aren't we? Because we're service. hangry. Oh, excuse me, I've just burped. That's really rude of me. Um, so, yeah, we'll show you what we have for our dinner. Oh, God, I can't talk. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I know, that's... <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness me. Oh, there's the shop, Tom. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Trouble is, all that light is in front of me. Oh, that big mushroom. <laughs> Mitch! <laughs> Old t-shirt, Thomas. Yeah, they're beautiful. Do you like that one, Thomas? Oh, yeah. It's massive. Nice, though. So. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, as well? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that hoodie. Oh. Oh, this bloody cat. We're just trying to find the quick serve restaurant because the other one is like a buffet. That's the main pool there, but there's kids around, so we're not going to do much filming of that. This is where we need to be. This is what I'm talking about here. Oh yeah. Playing it simple tonight, aren't we, Mr? Yeah. Just super simple, comfort food tonight. I'm quite tired tonight. Yeah, we we'll get well we can just go back and chill if you want. We just have a little burger with a bit of bacon on. Very nice. So yeah, this is tea tonight, everybody. Babies. Yeah. We've got babies. There's a little baby under that one's wing over there. Where? Yeah, there's two on the ground there. These are named after me, Thomas. Oh. A flamboyance of flamingos. What's that? <laughs> Somewhere where you never visit, an holiday or me. What, the fitness centre? Yeah. <laughs> I have enough trouble lifting a cup, let alone a weight. <laughs> well, that was dinner. Yep. Very nice, that burger, wasn't it? Just nice and simple. Uh, we're going to head back to the room now and we're probably going to sign this off because it's just after eight, isn't it? Yeah, look at the colour of that sky. Yeah, the rain has kept away today, even though the weather reports were saying that it was going to be about 60% mm. 60, 60 yeah, chance. Yeah, it's been dry today. So we've, we've had a, a rain-free day, which has been a bonus. Uh, very nice, this resort, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, we're very impressed. We're just at Jambo House, that's where we've had a bit of tea at the um, the quick serve. So tomorrow, we've got a fairly early start because yeah. we're doing something else that we've never, never done, done before, and that is Discovery Cove. So we're excited for that, yeah. aren't we? So we're heading there for half seven, eight o'clock. Yeah. 
uh, having get, breakfast here. Yeah, we're planning on not actually spending any money tomorrow on food, are we? No, because breakfast and lunch is included. Yeah. Uh, and drinks and are then included. Tomorrow evening, we've got our first ever DVC event, which Moonlight is Magic. Moonlight Magic at, at Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. So great that we're staying here because we're literally going to be two minutes away. Yeah. So we're going to show you that. We're going to show you what that's all about. And there's snack vouchers that get your oh, meals included in that as well. Oh, Plus, lovely. Uh, ice cream snacks and drinks yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So tomorrow is quite a full-on action-packed day because we've yeah. got a lot going on tomorrow. However, it will be chilled at Discovery It'll Cove. It will be very chilled so. at Discovery Cove. Yeah, that's yeah. the main thing. So yes, thank you for being with us and spending a bit more time with our crazy nonsense and mischief. And if you've made it all the way through to the end of this video, thank you very much. Yeah. So we'd like um, you, if you've not already done so, support the channel and just give us a like. Yeah. Um, hit that subscribe button. Yep. and hit the notification bell so that you get notified of more videos like this if you can be able to watch us anymore <laughs> um, and we'd really appreciate it yep. and we're really we're really glad of all the support that we get and the interactions that we have on uh, socials so yep. yeah and we'll see you tomorrow at discovery Cove.